Let's discuss part 3 of the tips on Microsoft Word for beginners. Our tip number 1 is inserting table. So how do we insert a table on our Word document? To do this, we go to insert, insert, and then table. We click on the arrow down, and then select how many columns and how many rows do you need. Say, for example, you need 3x3 three three table. So as you can see, this pops up, the design. So you can select your table style. Say, for example, this one here. You can also change the shading, the color. You can also change the row height and the column width. Let us say you will be changing the row height and then the column width. Just have it three. You can also merge the first What's this? The first row, merge cell, say for example, say you will type class schedule. Okay. Class schedule, let's just make it bigger. And then, say, you also put here, So this one would be class schedule A, this would be B, and this would be C. Now you can highlight this, highlight, and then align center. Now to add more rows, you can position your cursor at this side here, and then press enter. Okay, again, position at this corner here, then press enter. So this is how we add tables on your Word document. Tip number two is the translate. So translate is a very nice feature on Microsoft Word where you can translate the specific text or selection or translate the document, the entire document in another language. So how to do this? We go to translate. Say we want translate selection. The translator is found at the right side of our Word document. So to translate a particular text, say for example this one, rules and regulations. So as you notice, the rules and regulations are now found here and it's detected to be in English and it's translated to Japanese. But you can just change that to other language say for example i wanted filipino so this rules and regulation is translated to filipino and that means mga patakaran at regulation if i want to change that replace this one in filipino in the word document i can just click insert so see it's now changed we will undo it Let's go back to the English terms. Okay. Let's choose another text here. So it's now found on this box, no smoking inside the room or house, and it's translated in Filipino. It means walang paninigarilyo sa loob ng kwarto or bahay. So now, if you want to translate the entire document, you go to translate, then translate document. So the separate document or translated copy of your document will be open in a new window. Let's try this one, translate document. Create a translated copy of this document with the translator service. Okay, so that's auto detect two. That's actually from English. from English to, let us say, Filipino. Okay. And then you go to translate. This is now the translated copy of the Word document that we have a while ago.
Spelling and grammar is our tip number three. So as you can see in this paragraph here, there are underlined words. So these are misspelled words and incorrect grammar. So to check our spelling and grammar, we go to review and then click on spelling and grammar. So this will appear on your screen. So we can see here this word. So you just choose among the options here. So I like it, this one, teachers, and then videos. This one should be R. Okay, spelling and grammar check is complete. Click OK. Let's proceed to tip number four, the table of contents. So how do we insert an automatic table of contents on our Microsoft Word document? So to do this, let's go to references here and then table of contents. Click on the arrow down. And then you may choose automatic table 1, automatic table 2, or the manual table. Or you can also custom table of contents. So I would choose the manual table since I want to change it individually and independently. I want to change the content. So we have here the manual table of contents. Say we will position this heading at the center. We will make it bold. We will also increase the size. And we may change the font style and even the text color. Now for this one, we can change it independently. Say for example, we type the earth for page one and then for the next page, let us say the layers of the earth. And then page three, say activity one. And then the next page, we'll think of another, say the atmosphere. And then next would be the layers of the atmosphere. And then say this would be activity two, since the first activity is the page three for continuity of the activities, we will just name this activity two. And if you want to add more of the content, you can just enter and then type another content. Say for example, the ecosystem. ecosystem you may change the style and the font size later on you may do formatting later on after typing the contents and then press again enter so you can type again the next content say for example the food chain and then this would be the next page so this is much easier than typing your table of contents with a very long content to put on okay. so just adjust it and then this would be activity three okay so that's how we insert manual or even an automatic table of contents on your Word document. Let's discuss about data sort, which is our tip number five. So our example here is a table showing us the MPS or the mean percentage scores of the five grade 10 sections here. And as you can see on the MPS column, it's not a range. So say that I want to arrange this from the highest down to the lowest MPS. So what we can do here is to highlight and then you go to layout. You can see here the sort. Click on the sort. You have now sort by MPS, number, and then we want an 
a descending order because since we want it from the highest down to the lowest MPS, make sure that you have click on the header row and then OK. So as you can see now, it's arranged from the section having the highest MPS down to the section with the lowest MPS. So that is data sorting. You can also sort by text. Say for example, this sections here, if you want to sort it according to, let us say here, we, we can see here the section and then the text, if you want it to be ascending or descending order, it would be up to you. And then just click OK. Tip number six, the page border. So how do we insert page border on our Word document? To do this, you go to Design. And then this one here, we have the page borders. Click on that. So you can choose here for the page borders. There's none here, Box Shadow 3D Custom. You can change the style, okay, the color, you can choose the color preference, the width of your lines, then you have also art here. So say for example, we want a box, say that we want to put an art to it, say this one here, and then you may choose the whole document or this section only, say this section, and then click on OK. So now you can see these apples. It's around the Word document serving as page borders. If you want to change that, say this one here, click OK. So now you have another page border. You can actually select page borders here from the options. Our last tip, tip number seven, is mail merge. I have made a separate video about this. You may go to this link here. The video itself is about generating bulk certificates using mail merge in Microsoft Word. So you may want to check it out as it deeply explains the step-by-step -step procedures on how to use the mail merge in Microsoft Word.